My name is Shamila. I was born in Columbus, Georgia, and I was raised in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm 14 years old. I did not come from a musical family, but I got started when I was like in sixth grade, and then we was me and my friend was forming a music group, but I was starting as a rapper at first, so. We formed a music group, right? And then, like years later, she moved, and that's when I was like, Oh, I want to sing. So I started singing. And then that's when I saw Talia on Ellen's show, and she was formed with cancer. Even though she was battling cancer throughout her life, she just seemed to like just keep swimming, to not not give up on what she believes in. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna just keep swimming. I'm gonna live on my dream and inspire other children, not only with cancer, but without cancer, to just keep swimming and never give up. Sierra. And I just love Sierra. She inspires me so much. But actually, I like every single artist. There's no different. I like them in their own separate ways, but if I had to choose one, one, it would be Sierra. I actually had a lot of support from my family, from my mom, my dad, my grandparents, all the way to my siblings. It's like a whole family. And they just told me that if I wanted to sing, I'd have to practice all, all the time. And so I practiced and I got a chance to go to Jan Smith Studios and I worked hard. And yep, that's it. Nice and loose, and you're singing almost like you're yawning with this part nice and open like a C, okay? In the torn up town. Nope, more like a huh. In the torn up town. Hi, my name is Ebony, president of the Premier Vocal Coaches and personal vocal coach to Miss Shamila. Uh, I met Miss Shamila um, for a vocal session and was just blown away by her talent and dedication to singing. Um, I think she's going to be a, a, a very bright, refreshing force in the industry. And um, she's picking up great and she's just she's just got a very long career ahead of her so you guys watch out look out and um, check her out i'm actually working with um cynthia horner and her husband ken the photographer they have managed cinnamon chips media and worked with mama's behavior and i'm working with bentley my producer so we're having quite a fun time Every time I go to the studio, I just feel so excited and ready for my next project that I'm about to work on. So I feel quite at home, actually. Chilled and so great. As a songwriter, I write stuff that inspires me and hopefully inspire many other people that are listening to my music. I write songs that touches my heart and I usually write songs about where I'm going and my experience. Like if it was your first time at a concert, I would love it to be like the best time you've ever had. I want I wanted my my whole like stage appearance to like touch the bands and be just be awesome.